Hello, Exocent here on the Sage channel, and I'm breaking a rule again. I'm recording later in the evening. In fact, I think it's about 8 o'clock or so, around the same time I recorded previously. But you know what? I just wanted to make progress here. I'm actually enjoying playing this game, believe it or not. Even though things sometimes go wrong, I'm, as I said, actually enjoying it. So, why am I in such a rush to record? Well, for some reason, I'm at 19 frames per second, and we're just going to live with that, I guess. Yikes, you landly, but you'll see that a ship has moved. And why has the ship moved? Well, my friends, the ship has moved because I went ahead and did some more ice mining. I flew about, did a actual fair amount of ice mining, dug down, really dug out the area. I even installed some lights on the bottom because I had been mining over another area where we mined earlier, gathered up a bunch of stuff from there, you know, that big square mine, that's where it was. I realized in the middle of the dark, I'm going to break the ship, Murphy, a bunch. So I installed, you know, some nice lights on the bottom so we can actually see what the hell we're doing here, since small ship spotlights are pretty much pointless. And then I went ahead and actually even gathered up some silver and all sorts of nonsense. Maybe not exactly in that order, but I got some more materials. And then I started to head over here where I found some gold while I was doing all that. And figured, you know what, let's go ahead and grab that gold. Well, the thing is, I, uh, I don't want to mine straight down to it. Because the gold, if we can see it, is like a hundred and something blocks, I say blocks, meters and down. And yeah, that's a bit of a fan. Let's check that frame rate. It's back up to 32. That's a bit better when we're down here. Um, and I had heard that some people could successfully mine by using explosives. So I figured, even though it's a bit late, even though I've just made a huge fupa because I'm upside down and not paying proper attention, Jesus Christ, um, I figured we'd go ahead and make ourselves some explosives and see if we could go ahead and blast our way down to that gold. I've also been reading comments and people have been warning me that, hey Sage, you know um, those big mining bases, they're a bit dangerous. You might not exactly want to just go attack it like, you know, your ship currently is. So I have upgraded the ship a little bit more. A few more hydrogen tanks on the top there, as you can see, as well as a few maneuvering thrusters and all the way at the top, more turrets. We still burn through hydrogen like you wouldn't believe, though, so I'm starting to think maybe we need to rethink our whole idea about uh, atmospheric thrusters. At this point, we might even think about just going into space and grabbing ourselves some easier to gain materials and then coming back down here and finishing that base off. But I kind of don't want to leave the planet until we've really dealt with a threat down here on the surface. Alrighty, let's dock this thing up. As per usual, missing it by a my mother funker. I've been doing so well. All that time I recorded, I didn't do that once. Not once. I even put the thrusters back in and put guards on them. I didn't do that once. God dang it. You know, I honestly think it was probably the frame rate, honestly. Because the frame rate's so low, I bet you this game has a lot of stuff tied to the frame rate. Because even just this, the second ago I clicked on it, nothing happened here to try to transfer supplies. Uh, we're up to 37 frames per second if we look that way, and 19 if we look towards the ship. Oh, well, that's just awesome. Let's go ahead and see if we can fix that really quickly with a few lights. Uh, we'll shut off all of our running lights. Boop. And then the spotlights as well, so spotlights... Select the... Hello, Editor Sage here, and I just thought I'd give you guys a quick heads up. The reason my FPS was rubbish is because as soon as I went to record, my NVIDIA drivers kind of crashed. Um, yarp. I restarted the game, didn't make any difference, restarted my computer later in the day after I was done recording, and that fixed the issue, went back to, you know, the 28 to 44 frames per second. I usually get... But, uh, when I recorded all this, I just left it at the 18 because I didn't want to deal with all that at the time. Also, got rid of the frame counter at the bottom left because I figured we didn't need that anymore. Anyway, back to, uh, past Sage. Alright, and I believe to build our explosives that we're going to want to build, we're going to need some other stuff. Now, I did see a little video that somebody put out where they were using small explosives of mine, and they used a large one that created a bigger than expected hole. So we're going to use small explosives to sort of get our way down there, and then the plan is to use one big one to make just a huge cavernous underground area, since it's like 100 meters down. Uh, and what do we need for the explosives? Let's hope we can actually build those warheads, because that's what I'm actually talking about here. Uh, I don't think just explosives on their own will be very useful, so 
I think we are going to be needing warheads. There we go. So, little tiny dinky warhead takes two explosives, computers, small steel tubes, construction components, mainly steel and whatever goes into explosives. Groovy, nice and simple like. Let's see what actually goes into explosives. Now, we'll cancel those. I That's even more that I queued up, by the way. The ones from the previous episode did finish. Uh, this takes silicon wafers and magnesium powder. Cool. Queue up a hundred of these. And I do have quite a bit of magnesium. If we were to actually go ahead and look. Magnesium. Uh, we can actually look for not the powder, but the ore. And I did split our ore that was just in storage up between two containers now, since this one got fill up of ore. Uh, we can look here, and we should have, yeah, magnesium ore. We have 524,000 ore in that one. It's split evenly, so we have really well over 1,000. 1,000, what is it? Or 1,048,000. <laughs> magnesium ore so quite a bit we even have some silicone cobalt even some silver not too much silver since you can apparently only find it in chunks uh but a fair amount so anyway we'll go ahead we should have a few explosives actually already built surely by now uh i'm blind apparently i've searched the word expl oh it's going to be in because i have it sorted to prevent them from flowing into the sausage cargo so it's doing to show up when I just search the word explosives. But there you go, we can see we got 50 something of them there. They are much heavier than expected, holy hell. Um, so let's go ahead and put most of these back. Uh, and then what else did we say we needed? We needed small steel tubes, uh, construction components, and uh, computers. I think that was it. I think that was it for these, wasn't it? Yes, indeed. That was everything. Cool. Uh, so we should be able to build one or two of these. Oh, and then I think we grabbed enough construction bones. So we'll have surplus. We only have enough explosives for a few. We could have loaded it into a, one of our ships and just brought that down here, but we're not going to for now. And let's just do a test here, shall we? So we'll do start you, a new small ship, which you should use a single construction component. Place you in. We'll place it um, on the wall if we can. That way, in theory, the blast will sort of be going downwards, but also to the side. Oh, it was girder and not small steel tube. Son of a gun. Alrighty, and while I was grabbing stuff, I realized that explosives weren't as heavy. I must add something else in my inventory, and I was just being a fool. So I've grabbed a fair few more of those. And let's make sure we get a fair few other things as well. And then we'll go back down there and start blasting the heck out of the ground, shall we? And so back down here, we place it in. We go ahead and switch over to this. We weld it up. There we go. And where's the control panel? Surely they have some sort of control interface they don't have a control interface for this okay well plan to let's grab a rock this is very caveman-esque uh yes we got 400 and something stone let's fly above this thing so we're looking straight down at it so this is straight down all we're gonna do is line up with it there we go let's fly this is so caveman isn't it we're gonna drop a rock on it right there that looks pretty good hopefully we're far enough away that was a miss. That, that just like came right out of my arse. Didn't drop where I was actually expecting it to drop. I thought it would drop where I was aiming, sort of, you know, out of my porthole of my helmet for some reason. Let's try that one more time. And if that doesn't work, we're going to go get it. We're going to get a gun. Alrighty, we got a silly, stupid gun out of the ship. And let's try pulling the trigger. I missed. God dang it. I missed again. Oh, great. I took out the landing gear. Son of a... 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 <sighs> Down to 71 bullets. Let's do spectator mode, too. Let's let's just take a moment here. That's not the right spectator mode. Let's hang down sights, actually, huh? How about that? Dink! 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 Alright, that was not very useful. That was barely anything. Let's try again with a different plan. Alrighty, so this time we have it installed up here on a higher wall, and instead of trying to shoot it, we're just going to grind that away and drop it. It hit the side wall before it reached the hole where I wanted to. Let's try this again. Alrighty, there we go. Got this one ready. We'll go ahead and launch you. Away it goes. A little bit more progress, and then we'll finish this one off. I didn't want to finish welding it off all the way before I uh, launched the other one, just, you know, for fear of something going terribly wrong. There we go. So it's made a little bit of progress. Overall, pretty much worthless, I would say. Not exactly a good way to mine unless you maybe had an automated system just churning those out and bombarding it from afar. <sighs> Where'd you go? Where'd you... Trouble ship? Where are you? Come here. We need to go mining. 
So I also heard, uh, well, read in my comments that apparently the voxel system updates every four seconds, keeping with what I had suspected in my previous episode. And in fact, I think it's something that I probably knew when they originally added mining years ago and just promptly forgot. So yeah, apparently, you know, every four seconds the voxels all update. One, two, oh, that was quicker than that. One, two, three, oh, there it goes again. So if it's not every four, it should go and then go again. Nope, it is every four. So it changes and then one, two, three. Yeah, it's every four. Or every two, apparently, it seems. Then again, maybe it's not because that was not every four. Also, I think I've just rolled this. Which way's up? How the frack are you floating? Okay, stay calm. All we gotta do is aim upwards. Aim upwards. There we go. All is fine. Our camera just went through the world. That was terrifying. And I lost a drill. That's what I get for, you know, building a ship so strange. Oh, by the way, people who are like to say you have that number two button, just use the remote control block and suddenly C will just take us that way. You know, C is down since it's designed to basically fly it as if it's that's forward. Well, don't forget, you can no longer... Oh my god, I lost another drill. You can no longer actually hold alt and rotate your view around when using a remote control block, even if you're in the same ship, since they decided, you know, fracked logic and everything, and actually what was a pretty cool feature. I mean, it's even crazy, because we could remote control that ship, since it does have that remote control block. I mean, look at this. We'll, we'll stand right here. We'll press K. We'll click here. By the way, you, you actually keep your names after... Um, merging the ships together with a, uh, not a merge block, but a connector. I guess there was a cut there. Uh, so we could actually select, you do our remote control thing. Hey, uh, 90 degree remote, remote control, okay. And then, oh, oh, well, that's not exactly brilliant. Is it? I'm, I'm, I, I'm moving the ship, I know that, but if I hold alt, I can now look up and down. In the past, if you remote controlled something and you held alt, you could look around. So you could literally, it would be like in real life if you're remote controlling something, you could stand there and look at it. It was really, really cool. Now you can just apparently just look up and... We're gonna go head down there, by the way, and we're gonna set up that uh, large warhead because I think we're far enough down that we could actually make a little tiny dinky amount of progress now without destroying everything on the surface. Or maybe we will destroy everything on the surface. Who knows? Either way, Let's stick this right here. Bleep. Let's switch over to our number four tab. Stick you right there. And there we go, weld it up. I had just enough stuff, I think. I might have run short on some of this, but now I have it all ready to rock and roll. And just in case the whole entire world goes bye-bye, as soon as this is done and we can fly out of here, I'm gonna go ahead and there we go. Do a quick save. Ta-da! And then does this have a control panel on it? It does, cool. So we can go ahead. Um, I believe it's disarm the safety and start the 10 second count down and get the freck out of the hole. There we go. There, yeah, oh, that's far, that's more than deep enough, isn't it? So we should be alright. That should blast us a bit of a hole and hopefully, yes, get us closer to the gold. Yes, yes, yes. And look at this too. The great thing about this is now we have whatever, the, oh, we have uranium too. We're going to not really save too much of that. But look at this, we have room to maneuver once the ship gets down here. We're going to do that again, actually, since the gold is still a bit soft, and even if we blast through some of the gold, presumably it's a large, uh, thin sort of film. That, <laughs> what am I trying to say? It's a seam of it that just goes across a horizontal plane. So it shouldn't be too much. Oh, we need more girders. Girder it. There we go. Girders and everything installed. Let's find that control panel again. If we can, there it is, cool. Uh, let's go ahead, once again, disable safety. Let's set it to a 20 second countdown. Actually, let's do a 30, eh? Full half a minute, seems like an eternity almost. Start that countdown, it starts blinking. Let's get the heck out of here. There we go. I honestly should have put that farther down, but I think maybe I have enough resources to uh, detonate more than one. Let's do spectator. Now let's just fly it right over here and see how this blast goes, so. There's our world now, and in a moment now, I suspect we'll have a wonderful big explosion and free the entire world of stone. It's creepy blinking. Oh wow, that's actually taking much longer than expected. I guess, you know, like I said, third... T seconds can feel like an eternity. Gold! Yes indeed, and look at all that uranium exposed as well. So successfully mined we have. Ha ha! Success! Alrighty, let's get out of Spectator, let's fly down there with our silly, silly character, let's grab up that gold, uh, yes please, thank you, my inventory's full, son of a bitch, 
Uh, what else do we want to do while we're down here? Do we want to do anything? Let's even, you know what I say? Since I probably have enough stuff, let's put another explosive in here. And let's just blast ourselves an opening right here. All I need is gentle sausages. And we shall uh, well make ourselves an even bigger area to maneuver. And like I said, I think this is going to be a flat plane of gold. Is that a cyber dog falling in here? A flat plane of gold just reaching out over the area, so we should be able to have even more exposed. If nothing else, we'll have more maneuvering room, and maybe we'll even put some stuff down here and make ourselves a small... What do you call that thing? Lighting array. Since, of course, a small ship lights are useless, we... Ba oh my god. We basically go... I almost clicked detonate. <laughs> I, flust I flustered myself. There's so much. Uh... We'd go ahead and set up basically a small station like that, except for with lights on it, so we can see what we're doing. Yep, the gold was a, we kind of cut through some of it. Whatever, there's gold everywhere here. We'll be fine. Let's grab our ship and bring it down here after we fix it up a little bit. 